What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioWest 3 Raw TV. We gotta touch on something again today because I keep getting fucking emails. Some are from clients, some are not from clients. And I, you know, I... I don't know how many times to delve into this problem without, you know... And people don't get it. Like, I just... It, it frustrates me. It really frustrates me on a level that... Like, I want to give up. I want to say, you know what? Here's your money back. I don't want to train you anymore. I want to fucking... You know, I want to not even answer people's emails when they ask. Because I'm like, first of all, this fucking information is in my videos second of all if you're thinking like this you're a fucking beginner and i don't work with beginners okay if you don't know how to weigh your food or you don't know how this shit works i don't work with you period i'm not a beginner fucking coach trainer okay i'm the guy that people come to when they've already trained with someone else and it didn't fucking work i'm the guy that people come to when they tried for 10 years and it didn't work i'm the guy that fucking solves problems I'm not the guy who fucking takes you from Crack, hatching from your fucking egg as a little chick and turns you into a fucking badass fighting rooster. That's not me, okay? I'm the guy that gets shit done that fucking couldn't get done before. That's me. So if you're a newbie, you've been training for like fucking two months, you've never trained before, please don't contact me and try to hire me because it's going to frustrate the shit out of me because I don't have the time or patience. And I'm just being honest. To try to explain these things to you when you should fucking be able to find the shit out yourself. Now, that being said, so many times... So many times I get my people that train with me and we do a low volume routine. It's very rarely a high volume routine and it could be high reps, low reps. It depends on the person. And lo and behold, they're gaining muscle and losing fat hands down. And they're surprised as shit. They're like, holy fuck. I thought this wasn't possible. Everybody said this wasn't possible. I can't believe this is happening. You know, we manipulate the macros. We do this stuff. But every once in a while you get that person who's like, Jerry, can I add some sets to the fucking routine? And I'm like, what? Like, seriously, if you can add sets, you are not training hard enough. And if you can't generate that, that type of intensity in the gym, then you're probably not at that level that you should be training with me. You should be training with someone else who has a very basic um, understanding and has a very basic routine who's like a beginner. Okay? If you, I, I can do three sets, three sets of barbell curls, which technically, that's three sets for biceps in a week. Okay? Not only will my biceps get results, at least maintain, if not grow, which whatever I want them to do. But after a single set of barbell curls, I literally feel like I fucking ran a sprint. I feel like I ran a fucking marathon. After three sets, I'm done. I can't do another set. I don't have another set left in me for biceps. A lot of times, you know, if I did fucking back first, by the time I get the bicep, I'm very tired already. And I've only done three sets of chin-ups and three sets of rows. I've done six sets total for back. By the time I get the biceps, and it's hard to even do the, bi the barbell curls. Like, I'm putting that much intensity, generating that much power in that set, that my central nervous system is going fucking nuts. My heart rate is going fucking nuts. The muscles themselves are fucking screaming, stop. And that's what my training is based on. That stimulus, and I just read a study. I wish I had the fucking magazine. It's in uh, Muscular Development or Iron Man or one of those this month, where they found that new study, because there hasn't been many studies done like this, okay? And thank you very much for, hey, Jerry, fucking, you know, studies say science. You don't know science, bro. Well, science is starting to say now that if you don't train to failure, you have to do more sets. Okay, so therefore, which is optimal? Optimal is getting the most amount of fucking results from the least amount of work that you put in. Now, not the least amount of intensity, the least amount of overall volume. Okay, which means that it is optimal to train to failure. They did it with two different groups and they found, and they even did it with untrained people. Which I think is even more interesting because technically, you know, you should gain at the same rate as a newbie no matter what you're doing. But the people that train a failure gain faster. Okay? Interesting, right? So when you're in the gym and I tell you, okay, you got to do five sets of bench press, three sets of bench press, whatever the fucking case may be. And you're like, Jerry, you need to add some sets because it's not. And I'm like, you need to add some sets? You're not fucking training hard enough. You should crawl out of the fucking gym after three sets of bench press. Okay? If I'm doing... Well, I do chest and back together. So if I'm doing chest and back, I got nothing left. I got to sit down. And it's 15 sets total. Oh, no. Three, six, nine. Nine sets total. Three for chest, three pull-ups, three cuts, some kind of row. I have to fucking sit down after that workout, after nine sets, okay? It takes me about 40 minutes. And fucking relax and focus because I'm so fucking tired, worn out. My stomach is upset because I train so hard. And... You know, there's no fucking way I could do 10 sets for fucking chest. And what I find super interesting, again, is the more is better. What the fuck do you think? You think if you did 40 sets of bench press, your chest is going to be better? Well, not do 50, 60. That means that you could go into the gym, 
do 50 sets on fucking Monday, 60 sets on fucking Monday the following, 70 sets, and you could look like Rich Piana in fucking five weeks. Does that happen like that? No, it doesn't work like that. This more is better bullshit. And I'm starting to see some actual other YouTubers and shit. They used to do the high volume going to low volume. And they're going, oh shit, I'm getting better results doing low volume. No shit. Because you're learning how to train harder. You're essentially not a newbie, but as you progress and you're able to generate more intensity, you need to do less volume because you're doing more work and the shorter amount of volume. And what a lot of other people don't know, and again, these are basic fucking things. I just talked with Stephen Adley about this stuff. and I, I did a video for Isatori. I did an interview with them this weekend at the Olympia. When you're doing chin-ups, okay, your chest is involved with chin-ups. On the negative, your pec muscles actually contract on the negative on the way down. And if anybody knows anything about anything by this time, you can look it up because it's science, bro. The negative causes more damage to the muscle fibers than the positive. So as I'm fucking doing chin-ups, I'm training chest. As I'm fucking bench pressing, my lats are working on the negative. Those muscles are getting more work than you think they are. The problem is, is nobody fucking understands this. It's fucking basic knowledge that nobody out there fucking stops to understand. When I, you know, I got one guy who was like, well, I train legs twice a week. Why do I train everything else once a week? Huh? You're not. What are you talking about? Oh, well, you know, I train chest this day, but you train back this day, right? Yeah. Well, your chest, it, it, you know, it frustrates me because it's like, you should know this shit. Okay. This is not fucking groundbreaking. This is not new. This is basic shit. But for some reason, instead of starting at the basics, half you motherfuckers jump up here on the fucking ladder, don't understand shit about shit, get no fucking results, spin your fucking wheels, and then talk in all these forums and just confirm that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And then you wind up back there with me asking me questions, and I'm like, how can you be so fucking, how, how, how can you be so lackadaisical that you didn't look for this information and know this information? Like, it's basic human physiology, the fact that those muscles work on the negative. You know, people go, Jerry, why don't I train calves? Have you ever fucking seen my calves? Okay, now people could say, ah, genetics. Let me tell you, I had the fucking worst chicken legs. That was actually called chicken legs when I was younger. Okay, it's not like I always had good calves. But the squatting, the leg pressing, the fucking heavy dead, I didn't deadlift, heavy shrugs, heavy partial shrugs. What do you think fucking works those calves? You think that fucking a 500 pound squat, okay, is not going to work those calves when you're going to failure. Your calves go to fucking failure too as you're moving. It's human movement. There is no movement in nature where you stand up in your fucking toes. Unless you're going to pick something up off a fucking shelf, which that's not nature. That's fucking modern technology. Building fucking shelves so you can store shit. But there's no, nothing in nature whatsoever where you fucking stand on your toes with fucking 500 pounds or whatever the fuck it is and go, eh, 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 and get a little fucking burn. You think because the lactic acid burn that happens in your fucking calves, you think they're growing? I know a lot of people out there that fucking train their calves all the fucking time with toe raises and fucking heel raises and donkey raises and all this shit. And I'm like, your calves fucking suck. And they look at me and they go, well, why do yours? Because I go to fucking failure on squats. I go to failure on fucking leg presses. I go to failure on fucking rack deads. I go to failure on fucking shrugs. I've used hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fucking pounds that my calves have had to fucking brace. Jerry, why don't you train abs? Have you fucking seen my abs? I'm in contest shape and fucking my abs are one of my best body parts. They're thick. They're fucking deep. They're fucking developed. My obliques are developed. They're not overdeveloped. I don't fucking train that shit. I haven't trained that fucking shit since I was a teenager. And I thought that I was supposed to do it back then. And then I realized you don't need to do it. When you do a fucking chin up, your abs are being worked. When you do a squat, your abs are being worked. When you do fucking everything, everything's being worked. Is that you, Aaron? Yeah. All right. Aaron just came in. So we're going to fucking stop this video right here. So learn the fucking basics before you... You can come in. Okay. <laughs> I heard a creep around the corner. So learn the basics before you try to learn the fucking advanced things. And if you're not advanced and you're a beginner, you probably don't want to fucking hire me. Biowistertraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biowistertraining.com is a blog. It's the Not Beginner Bicep, and we're out.